That's a whopper right there, man. That's a whopper of a flathead, buddy. Heck yeah. Look at that skyline up there, y'all. It is an absolutely beautiful morning out here. Couldn't ask for a better day, at least to start out with anyway, but I'm hopefully going to catch some fish and make it even better. Now, I'm out here today kind of getting back to basics, keeping it simple today. I'm in my Old Town kayak, my pedal kayak, so no motor. I did rig up my old graph here on just so I can have basic depth. I'm going to be trolling slash drifting. I have very minimal current out here, so I'm probably going to have to troll just to supplement my speed. But I'm going to use the graph to keep my baits two to three feet off bottom as I work a ledge down river here. Now, this particular kayak, again, kind of back to basics. I don't have everything rigged out to the max on this kayak like I do my other one. So I've got two rod holders on this. So I'm rocking two rods today. Got some fresh bait yesterday, but I got everything I need. You know, again, it's back to basics, but it's everything I need to catch a fish. So I'm gonna get baited up. We're gonna drop them down and have some fun today. Let's do it, y'all. Well, bait is gonna be a head and a chunk. Again, I've only got two rod holders on this kayak, so that's the max I can fish with. And I always like to have a head bait out and I always like to have a chunk out. So this problem solved keeps it very simple. And bait today, I've got skipjack. Got a few of those there yesterday. Also got a crappie that we may put on as these geese. Lord, we got a whole herd of them here. These geese heard that I'm filming a YouTube video. It's like American Idol auditions or something. It's brought them all out. They all out here coming to get on this show. But these geese are out of luck. This is a fishing show, not a goose and honker show. So anyway, <laughs> look at this head and chunk on here. Get my baits dropped down. I'm gonna spin around here and start working this ledge. Right now, I'm 38 feet. The depth's gonna vary. These geese, man. They just won't. Thankfully, they heading south. Way late in the year. Maybe they heading, I don't know what the hell direction they're heading. They're heading somewhere away from here, I hope. But anyway, I'm gonna get turned around here. Dip 38 feet. It's gonna drop down to 55 or 58 feet as I get on down river and then start to come back up again. So I'm just gonna take a stretch of this. I basically launched my kayak, pedaled up river, and now I'm gonna turn around and start working my way back down toward the car. So anyway, now that the geese are gone, I guess I'll turn off the camera and wait on the fish to bite. Got some fish action going on there. That rod, man, it's going down. Oh boy, he's gonna pull. He just took off on me, y'all. Holy cow, he just took off. It acted like a small fish at first. But boy, he took off. <laughs> I think he's still gonna be small. But boy, he had some, some spunk first thing this morning, didn't he? Hell, he spun me around. This fish right here, man, I, I don't know what's got into him. He must have he must have had an argument with the, his wife first thing this morning. Now he's all mad at me, taking it out on me. That's all right. That's what I'm here for, fish. I'm here to make your day better. And this fish is making my day better because he's fish number one. And sometimes, y'all, you know how it is, fish number one. They don't always enter the kayak. I'm gonna get this thing landed. Oh, he's barely, I got him skin hooked right there on the, the side of the face, look at this. That hook just come right out. Easy peasy, George and Wheezy. Nice, you get him. You nasty, it ain't no wonder your wife don't like you no more fish, you got leeches on the side of your face. Let me get them off there. Boy, them things on there good, ain't they? Well, hell, I ain't got my pliers out. You out of luck, fish. I was gonna pull them things off of you. Heck with it. Maybe we can clip them. You wanna clip them, y'all? There'll be some, there'll be some leech activists out there. People get on me for not getting the leeches off the fish. And they'll be on me for killing the leeches that are eating on the fish. <laughs> You know how people are. Look at this right here. I was just noticing about this fish. I'm doing a slot tournament this month. 
But look at this, he's missing part of his tail. He's missing like the whole bottom half of his tail fin there. Boy, this fish, not only has he had a fight with his wife this morning, he's got leeches on his face and he's missing half a tail. It ain't no wonder this fish is upset and he's fighting so hard. It's a wonder he was fighting so hard though with the messed up tail. We'll see you fish. Get out of here, buddy. All right, I'm gonna put another bait on, I reckon. Yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm in a, another slot tournament here, month of September. Uh, fish three, uh, I got something in my eye, man. Ignore me. But um, I had fished three of these month-long slot tournaments earlier in the year. I think I fished March, April, May, I think. Won all three of them. But we're getting here at the end of the season now. I'm, I'm blinded by the sun. Let me put my hand up here. Some of you probably think I need to put my hand here. But anyway, uh, I won them three tournaments. And there is a big tournament at the end of the season. It's based on number of points you accumulate throughout the season. Well, since I only fished three tournaments, even though I've won them, I was in danger if I didn't sign up this month. I wasn't going to qualify for the big tournament. So I've signed up. I don't really want to measure fish all month, but I'm going to at least get my limit and submit that, which is seven fish, 30 inches or under. I'm going to at least get my limit and submit them so that I can qualify for the big tournament next month. So anyway, going to be measuring a few smaller fish today. That one there got me on the boards. So I need me about six more. And uh, yeah, if I get quit flapping my gums here, I'm going to get my glasses out so I won't be blinded. We'll put another bait at fish. He he needed that bait. I mean, he's trying to grow his tail back. So he needed it. He took it off there. I'll put me another bait on, get spun back around, and we'll get to doing it again. Oh man, that one's going down hard. That one's going down hard. Oh buddy, oh goodness. Goodness, man. That's another one on the small chunk. I couldn't hardly get the rod out of the rod holder. This is a better fish. This is a better fish right here, buddy. Man, he took it down hard. <laughs> I was piddling on my phone. It's been kind of been kind of slow out here. I got that one fish with the messed up tail, but I'm not having little pecker heads, you know, not little dinks tapping down through here. It's been pretty much just nothing. But this one just come out of nowhere and just hammered it. Buddy, I'll take it. He's going to be a little bigger. He ain't going to be no, no golly whopper or nothing, but... Oh, he ain't even gonna be that big. This fish ain't even gonna be that big. Look what look what happened. Look what happened. He come after the bait and he got hooked in the tail. Did my stinger my stinger hook didn't even get him. He got the regular hook. He got it in the daggone tail. <laughs> fish. You in bad shape, fish. Where are my pliers at? This fish right here, if he's too stupid to get the bait in the mouth, here's what we're gonna do. He ain't getting no camera time. Again, if you're that stupid, you can't even get a bait in the mouth. He don't need to be on this channel. Boy, he messed up my bait though. He ran my stinger fly, plumbed through my bait, didn't he? Goodness gracious, that fish was messed up. Well, I'm gonna rehook this bait now that I got it all situated. Again, that's a small piece of skipjack, caught those yesterday. And I've got this on a Carolina rig, y'all. This is kind of back to basics video. We'll, we'll go over my rigs here. So this is a uh, egg sinker. Got that down to a swivel. About eight to 10, 12 inches below that is my hook. That's a 10 on circle hook, the skipjack chunk. And then below that, I've got a, a stinger fly. That's a catfish sumo bait stalker and it's you know, eight to, eight to 12 inches below the bait. Just kind of gives a little something extra down there. Now I'm gonna drop that down. Right now I'm currently 47 feet deep. So we'll let that sinker hit bottom, raise it up to where my bait is 44, 45 feet deep. My rods here are my signature series rod. These are the Golly Whopper rod from Catfish Sumo. Uh, perfect rod for kayak catfishing. And then I've got some Shimano reels. All my gear is linked down in the video description. So if there's ever anything 
that you're looking for, whether it be my catfishing gear, carp, ultralight, whatever. It's all down the video description there with links. So uh, anyway, that fish really got me excited. I thought it was a really good fish and then he's foul hooked. If all of those small fish could get foul hooked, they would be a lot more fun. But the downside of a foul hook fish, I couldn't score for my tournament. So anyway, we'll get another one down through here. I'm gonna get spun back around the current flow out here this morning. There is a little bit, not much, but it is getting my scent going. There is a light breeze, however, that's kind of just real light, but it's blowing down river. So I'm kind of using it and just supplementing with my pedals to keep my speed at 0 0.3, 0 0.5. I'm moving real slow, real slow down through here, working the edge of this ledge as it starts to come up. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's unfortunately the type of fish I'm catching right now. Hopefully stumble into some bigger ones here soon. Another one hit, got another one hit. Yep. Another one on the chunk, man. The head ain't been messed with. But this is number three on the chunk. That's why I like to have variety in my other kayak where I got four rod holders. I oftentimes, you know, like a day like today where I got a crappie in my cooler also, I'd, I'd mix up the baits, the cuts, give them variety. This one here wanted the same thing the other ones wanted. Apparently he wants attention the way he's splashing around. At least this one here is smarter than the last one. He got the, bait, the hook in the mouth. Somebody's catfishing dumb. Some of them just plain, plain silly. This one here, he's at least got some sense in his head. He keeps thrashing around. He's going to knock himself silly on the side of this kayak. Get up here, fish. Get up here. You done splashed me in the face now. Did you get the camera too? Got me right in the face. Totally unnecessary. Get that hook at your jaw. Well, he ain't very big. 25 and a half inches, but it's another one toward my score. Again, I ain't measuring fish all daggone month. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put me up a score to ensure I get into the big term. That's all I gotta do. So that's another one down. Need me five more hooked in the mouth, 30 inches or under. <laughs> a little something happening here on this rod. He don't know I'm watching him, does he? He thinks he's gonna run off with that bait. I got news for him. I think he might be hooked. I don't think he meant to be, but he is. We'll see if he got the actual bait or the stinger fly. Or if he even got it in the mouth, you know, some of these fish out here today, like that one is plumb dumb. That's a big splash right over yonder. I don't know if that's carp or paddlefish. There's been some, there's been some big splashes out here on the surface. Sometimes them paddlefish will come up. And if you just happen to be looking at the right direction at the right time, you see them, but it takes a big fish to make some of the splashes I've heard out here this morning. Boy, this one's got himself all lassoed here. Let's see where the hook is. Yeah, he got the hook in the jaw there. He got the, oh. Now that I got him unlassoed, look how he's gonna act. You'd think he'd be happy that I got him undone, but he ain't. This fish right here, he ain't never been happy a day in his life. Y'all, I'll tell you what, that right there, man. Getting him on that board. Get out of here, fish. I'm sick of that. And I, I've said it before, man, these tournaments. You get a big fish, if you're, like, if you're in a big fish tournament, they'll lay on the board perfect for you. I got that big musky bumper board, 10 inches wide. Man, them things will sit there, calm as can be. You get a small fish like that, you try to get him on the board, they want to flop and carry on. I'm gonna have to edit out two or three minutes there. It took me to get that daggone thing measured, but I got him by gosh. He's on the board, that's another one on the score right there. Guys, I need you to do something for me. And I was gonna have one of these fish tell you, but it's been a little while since I got a bite. These fish aren't being very cooperative. And even if I did catch the next fish and tell him to ask you to do what I need you to do, these fish don't speak English. So, you know, I don't know if any of you would understand what they're saying anyway, but, I do need something of you. If you're a fan of my channel, if you like my content, 
there's a link down in the video description. There's an app called Upside. Now this app, they're not paying me anything on this video, but it is a situation where I can earn some money and save you some money at the same time. So this app is free and what it does, you need to get gas. You open up this app, it shows you the gas stations in your area that works with them and it gives you a discount on gas. Uh, 10, 15 cents or more. There's a link I'll put down there to save you an extra 25 cents per gallon off your first order. But this link is an affiliate link. So anybody that downloads the app and uses it through that link, I get paid a commission on that. So it's kind of a win-win sit. It's one of those rare situations in life where we both win. I get paid if you use the app and the app, it doesn't cost you anything. It actually saves you money. It pays you to use it. So if you're a fan of my channel, if you like my content, hang on, we got a fish. That fish right there was so excited. Take it down, fish. That's on the head bait. He down there chewing it up. Anyway, while that fish decides if he wants to eat today or not, the app's called Upside. Link down in the video description. I think he may have it now. No, he don't. Hey, fish, you interrupted. Now you're just being a detriment to this channel. I'm trying to get some help on this channel. This fish is being a detriment. Anyway, again, if you like my channel, if you enjoy my content, it's a great way to save yourself some money on gas and also help put some dollars to me to help fund this channel. So I'd appreciate it if you go check it out. Thanks. No thanks to this fish though. Maybe this fish will, I wonder if that's the same one. This one here, I believe is hooked up. This one got the business end of the hook here. We're gonna reel this one in. Fish, I needed you to show up about three minutes ago before I started that spill. You could have told these people exactly what I just told them. In non-English though, these fish, they, they speak catfish and they do know a few vulgar words in English. I've had, them, I've had them say some pretty nasty things to me. Not nearly as nasty as some of the stuff in the comment box, but these, these fish do have a smart mouth on them. I'm gonna reel this one up here, see if he's got anything to say. He needs to be calm on this measuring board is what he needs to do. That's why I hate carrying this daggone measuring board around because these fish are so uncooperative. This one here may be too big for my slot term. I think he's gonna be the biggest one of the morning. This one here's a, uh, he could go smaller fun size or larger dink depending on how you look at him. All depends on the lighting, you know, and how close he is to the camera. <laughs> How close you want to be to the camera, fish? You want to be a dink or a fun sizer? Boy, that's fish, y'all. Look at that. Skin hooked right there, man. Right there in the side. I just put the hook in him better when I was trying to take it out than what he had in it there himself. I'm gonna hold him up here for the camera, though. We're gonna call him a smaller fun size. He could very easily be a larger dink, though. It's been a struggle out here today. I, I come, ooh, he got me right in the mouth. Mmm, nasty river wire. But I come out here because I thought I'd do some drifting or, you know, trolling depending on the current situation, current flow, and be able to cover some water and get a, hopefully get a bunch of fish, maybe get some better quality fish in the mix too, get myself a decent score for this tournament on my first day fishing for it and hopefully not have to carry that board anymore. But it's not been... It's not been real action packed today. It's kind of been a fish here, a fish there. And again, you know, I've only got two rods on this kayak, but I don't think four rods on my normal setup would have made a difference because it's, I've really not had a lot of nips and pecks and you know taps down through here. It's just not been that kind of day. It's just been a sporadic bite. So I'm gonna keep making my way down river here. I'm gonna get the camera. We, one of you need to make a decision here real fast because the, the river kind of forks here. There's an island. We can go left, we can go right. Y'all can pick as far as I'm concerned. Don't matter to me. I may go right just because it'll be quicker getting back to the car on the way when I'm done today. I think that just made the decision for me. Since none of y'all will step up and make a decision. Lord, it's like me and my girlfriend, we're trying to pick out a restaurant to eat at. None of y'all would make a decision. So I'm gonna have to do it myself. We're gonna go right. That way I'll have a, a quicker trek back to the car later this morning. But anyway, let's get another bait on there and catch us another. Oh buddy, I got a slow takedown right here. That's a slow takedown. Man, look at that y'all. I wonder if that ain't a flathead right there, man. I wonder if that ain't a flathead. 
Oh, buddy, that's a good fish. That rod, you didn't, I didn't feel no thump. It just went and just kept going. That's a good one, man. This is a good one right here. Oh, man, this is a good one. This is easily the biggest one of the morning. I think it's a flathead. It's on a chunk. Small chunk. That big head. We had that one fish tapping at it. But just no takers on it yet. But the small chunk. The small chunk's been getting it done for me lately. Some of my biggest fish over the last few weeks have come on a small chunk. This one here's a big one. This one here's a... This is a good one, man. He's towing the kayak around. This kayak's a lot lighter weight than my other one. And, of course, I don't have spot lock or no motor on this one or anything. But this fish here's towing me, man. <laughs> I'm just hanging on. I'm not even trying to reel. He's just taking me where he wants to go. He's moving me back up river. I was drifting like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. He's moving me up river right now, half a mile an hour. Goodness, man, this is a strong fish. What an awesome fish. I'm excited to get a look at him. I think he's, I think he's a flathead. I'll be shocked if this fish isn't a flathead. It was just, I mean, didn't even feel him. Just saw the rod tip just going over. I was hoping to, I was hoping to get a better quality fish. You know, I picked this section of the river because I thought I'd get action. I thought I'd get several fish try to get myself to a good start in that slot tournament and just the section of the river i'm on this section here there's a good chance i could stumble into a big fish down through here so i was hoping to get quality and some quantity today the quantity hasn't been there the quality hasn't been there but this fish right here is going to make up for it all in one this fish right here is going to be worthwhile. This is the main event right here. Goodness, man. Goodness gracious. He still takes some drag this far into the fight, man. I was looking behind me. I hear a boat coming somewhere. Here he is. He needs to just keep on going. He don't need to see no fish here. I waved at him. All my fingers, too. We about got this fish whooped. Oh, man, that's a big flathead, y'all. Oh, man, look at that. Let's get him over here. Oh, man, that's a big flathead, y'all. That's a big one. That's a whopper, man. Oh, let's get him. Let's get him, man. Oh, now he's going to take off. I knew it. I knew it. Get on up in here, flathead. Oh, buddy, that's a good one, man. He's hooked right in the top of the mouth. Right in the top of the mouth, man. Oh, man, I'm shaking on this one, y'all. Come on, give me, that, give me that hook back now. We got him right behind the tooth patch there. Oh, buddy, that's a good fish. Man, y'all, check this out, man. Oh, 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 oh. He's, he, he wanting to smack me now. He's wanting to smack me. Nice fish, man. I think weight-wise, I think this is my biggest flathead of the year, man. He's thick. This fish is post-spawn. Got his weight back on. That's nice, man. Let me hold him like this just a second. I mean, he's not... He's not super long, but he's just girthy, man. I know, I know. That's what she said. <laughs> awesome, man. This fish made my day. I haven't got quantity out here yet. Haven't had much quality before this fish. But I got this one, man. Anytime I get a big flathead, the day's made. Let's see if I can hold him back this way a little bit. I got my head bait over here going down now. Let me get him back like this. Work with me here, fish. <laughs> At least I got the sun in the right position. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Whoo! <laughs> awesome, man. 
Oh, that's flat head. We say we send him home, y'all. He'll go down there and get even bigger. We're gonna let him go over here in a light though so we can get a good release shot. Whew. Fist pump worthy on this one, buddy. Look at that right there, y'all, man. That is a nice flathead, buddy. Nice flathead. His nose is all marked up there, too. Whew, you've made my day, buddy. Take off for me there. How you going? Fist pump worthy again, man. That's double fist pump worthy on a flathead, and I think I got one. I think I got one right here on this other rod with the head bait. I ain't got a, if I do, I ain't got a bait in the water right now. Let's pick up on it. I sure do. Got one on the head now. Oh man, I'm just shaking. I'm shaking after that flathead. Oh man. I love me some big flatheads, y'all. Love them. I eat that small chunk of skipjack. This in here, pretty sure he's gonna be a blue. We'll see for sure, get him up here in a second. Don't think he's gonna be as big. No, he's a, he's another one comparable to that other blue I got a little while ago. Probably, probably too big for my slot tournament. Just from looking at him here. I ain't even gonna bother throwing him on the board, but he would be a, He'd be a smaller fun size. He's probably in that 30 to 32 inch range, which is just a little bigger than what I need. Come on, fish. We gotta get you landed. I gotta get some baits in the water, buddy. We gotta get baits in the water here. We ain't gonna catch nothing. I ain't gonna tell how many fish I'm going right over the top of right now. We'll get this one undone. And I'm gonna go back up here above where I got that flathead and come back through. Let's make another pass. Make another pass drifting through here. I'd done be up there, fish, if it wasn't for you flopping around now. It's the female fish. That's what all the attitude's about. You know how them women are. That flathead stole this fish's thunder. I ain't nearly as excited over this fish as I was the flathead. and She's got her feelings hurt and all jealous and everything. Daggone. Daggone female blue cats what do you think say something you spent all that time to get my attention you got it now she don't know what to do with it get out of here that fish is gone man oh man i'm still pumped up y'all i'm still real pumped up over that flathead i got water all over my glasses i got slime all over me that's a good problem to have ain't it all right i'm going to uh I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna go back up here a little ways and drift back down that same stretch where I just got that flathead in there and, and that blue and the other one. There's clearly some fish right in that area. So I'm gonna work back down through it. And uh, you know, again, I'm out here in my simple kayak. I can't just hit a button and spot lock like I normally do. So I'm gonna get back up here and do it again. But hopefully this will show you though. You know, I know my channel, my other kayak, it's rigged out to the max, all the bells and whistles. But hopefully, this will show you. I come out here this morning, I catch some fish. I'll get a really trophy-sized flathead, and I'm doing it with a bare-bone setup here, man. My pedal kayak, two rod holders, and my graph, which I've just kind of makeshift put on here. I ain't even got it on a mount because the mount's broke. And my transducer, I have to kind of lean over a little bit because it ain't quite long enough to read the water depth on its own. I got to lean to get the transducer far enough in the water to see my depth. but. It's good enough, you know. I can I can monitor my depth and be able to adjust my baits up and down as I come down through here. And this, you know, you don't need a lot for catfishing. You can use a lot for catfishing. You can complicate the hell out of it, just like anything else in life. But you can keep things very simple. Two rods, which most states allow, even if you're a really restrictive state. Here in Tennessee, we have no regulations on rods. You could come out here with 30 rods if you wanted to. But you can keep it simple. One or two rods a Carolina rig, a piece of cut bait, basic kayak, and you're good to go. And you can catch several fish and maybe even a whopper like I just got. But enough of me talking. I gotta get some baits in here. Let's go. All right, guys, I've come back upstream above where I got that flathead. Gonna put on two fresh baits. Big skipjack head. I mean, that thing's 
hand size right there and this small chunk right here small chunk is what got the big flathead but i always want to have a big head bait out just in case i may have another one here finally y'all that's really man i went back up above there where i got them other fish and have drifted down the winds blowing perfectly to move me like half a mile an hour man mother nature's treated me right today but i didn't get anything coming down through there where I went through them other fish. So I'm just gonna keep making my way along now, keep going down river. I did just hook into this one here. I think he's gonna be one that I can put on my board for the slot tournament possibly. No, he ain't, because I've got him in the back. I foul hooked that in two. He ain't big enough to score, no way. I thought I was just gonna pop that hook free. <laughs> so much for that, man. The hide on these things is Tough as nails, tough as leather, I should say. Say something, fish. Say, he says hit that thumbs down and unsubscribe. You old honorary devil. I don't know what he's telling y'all to do that for. Let me fix this back. I may, I'm gonna put another bait on there. Normally I would reuse that bait, but today since I'm since I'm in this kayak and I've only got two rods out, two baits at any given time, I'd really like those baits to be in the best condition possible down there. So I'm gonna switch that out, put on a fresh piece. And then again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the right here at this fork and just keep making my way on down river for probably another hour, one to two hours probably. And uh, hopefully this wind, again, most of the time, It'll either be blazing hot, just miserable, humid, and you got no wind. You know, you'd pay for a breeze, you got nothing, or the wind's just cranking and it's blowing the wrong direction on you. Today, it's perfect, man. Mother Nature has smiled upon me today. Oh boy, here we go. Look at that rod tip, man, it's in the water. It's in the water. I'm finally hooked up again here, y'all, and it feels like pretty decent fish. Oh man, he's pulling. I've had a long stretch of nothing going on. Probably over an hour. I just ran out of the fish, I guess. Even, uh, even that sporadic bite with the small fish that I had first thing was just gone. But I've come across another one. He don't feel too bad. There's some bait down here in this area. I've seen some skipjack busting over here along the shore. And I'm out here, I'm 40 feet deep here where I'm at. Just kind of working down this channel, working the ledge. This is another one on the chunk. Been a popular bait today. But I just can't, I can't switch out that head for another chunk. I've just got too much confidence in it. Just never know when it's gonna go down with a big fish. And, I'm gonna leave it out. The Lord knows this rod right here has got me a big flathead today, even with just the one chunk. So this in here feels pretty good. I hope he ain't foul hooked. No, no, that's a that's a good that's a good blue right there. Come up here, blue cat. Show yourself off. Yeah, I've come across some fish. I'll take my camera there and kind of show you on my crooked graph right there that ain't mounted proper there's some fish right down there there's one i'm hitting that rod so this is where i need my spot lock <laughs> i could sit here on top of them the other one the other one got nipped he didn't take it let's get this and landed right quick this is a good one right here oh, oh. get up here you get up on in here, you're gonna calm it down. That's a nice fish, man. Oh, that rod, I do have one on there. I thought he'd hit it and let it go. I got one on. That's on the head bait over there. Let's get this one going right quick. Here he is. Boy, that camera up there is crooked, y'all. I ain't got no time to fool with it. <laughs> we got another one on this other rod. There he is, solid fun size fish, man. Get out of here, fish. Sorry I couldn't give you more time. Let me just 
Well, about threw my phone out of the kayak in too when I grabbed this towel. I gotta, I gotta calm myself down about three notches, don't I? Oh no, after all that crooked camera, getting that fish out quick. This and let go. Well, crap. Let me just take a look at this bait here. It's been down there a while, but yeah, it still looks okay. You see, it's, it's still real pink and everything. So I'm gonna drop it back down right quick because I still see them fish there on the graph. And then I'm gonna put another chunk on here. I'll tell you what, before I even do that, because I'm drifting alone, I'm gonna go back upstream just a little bit and come right back through those fish again, just so I can make sure I have a, every chance to to get another one here. Cause that one right there was pretty good fish. And I, I saw all those marks there on the graph when I was reeling him in. I'll get my makeshift graph over here. It's working out. I gotta get me a longer transducer arm to get that transducer down there in the water. That one was on a different kayak and I've just kind of made it work with this one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go up here just a little bit further, come back down through those fish if we can get another one. I'm not gonna fish much longer. Again, I had a long stretch here with nothing. I mean, no dink taps, nothing. Just been a, a real sporadic bite today, but between the flathead, that blue there, I know there's some decent fish, some good fish here in this area. It's just a matter of getting a, getting a bait in front of them, you know? So anyway, enough flapping the guns. Let's get up here and get our baits back down. Well, guys, I drifted back through that area where I come across that school of fish and they go, now I can't find the daggone things, but I'm getting ready to, to head on out of here. But today's video, man, got a quality blue, got a huge flathead and had a dang good time. And again, I hope this is kind of a, you know, an inspiration maybe to some of you out there who have been thinking about getting a kayak and you, maybe you've seen me in recent videos where I've got really, you know, everything imaginable on the dang thing. Don't need all that stuff couple rods, some basic accessories, and a kayak, you know, or small boat or whatever, you know, just something to get you out on the water and you're good to go. That's really all you need. You can keep it very simple and basic and still go out and have a good time. This fish right here, he wants to be the, he wants to be the last one on the video. That's on the head bait now. Has he got it? He may have it. Yeah, this fish right here, buddy, he says you don't need he says he don't need you don't need a big boat you don't need 12 rods you don't need spot lock a motor live scope you don't have to have all that stuff they're nice tools they help you do things easier but you can come out bare bones set up and get results and i've enjoyed the hell out of it out here today even with my limited overall bites this right here is be one i might can throw on my board too score another one for my slot tournament oh 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 that one's going down let's leave that and sit in here lord i may have found i may have found that school again y'all i may have to fish a while longer i may have found the school again I doubled here yeah i see them on the graph again i went back up i guess they kept moving down while i was going back the other direction <laughs> all right well i guess i'll be fishing a little while longer here it's getting hot i got stuff i gotta do this afternoon oh this one here well, i ain't scoring him for the tournament he's knocked the bait off and got the stinger in the side old stinger fly got him let's go ahead and just tell you what let's do let's go ahead and get rid of this one right quick and i'm gonna drop another bait down before i land the one on the head bait come here fish i'm trying to i'm trying to help you out oh he's pooping too man don't be flinging that up on me there get out of here yo doo doo and thing goodness gracious man well hey that was a turn of events man maybe i should have done the closing earlier i'd started catching more fish let me drop another bait back down. We may, hell, we might get another. For those of you that stuck through this video this long, thanks. But there may be another bonus fish coming. Stay tuned. Oh, heck, look at this, y'all. Look at this. 
I got this one in the mouth, but he got the stinger fly. That one ate the stinger fly, y'all. How about that? Well, he choked that daggone thing too, didn't he? Yeah, and these are little accessories here. I've added my buddy Dewey, put me on them earlier in the year. Catfish Sumo's making a version now called a bait stalker. You can get them catfishsumo.com, code word, look at there, kayak, get you 10% off your order. Forgot I put that on this board. I'm gonna throw him on there and see if he'll help me at all. Yeah, that in there, he'll be about 28 and three quarters. That'll work. All right, fishy, tell him hi and bye. How you going? Splashing us on the way out. Well, I just thought I was getting out of here, y'all. I'm gonna lower this bait back down. I'll give it another 10, 15 minutes, see what happens. Maybe I got back on these fish here. There were several marks there when I had got that better quality blue just upstream from here and I went back above them and I, I just, you know, fish swim a variety of directions. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. I guess they had went down on me. So uh, that sounded perverted, didn't it? You know what I meant. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get myself canceled on here. Just talking normal, but I'm gonna give it another 10, 15 more minutes. We'll see if we can get us a bonus fish. I gave it another 20 minutes. Unfortunately, no bonus fish, but you know what? I had a hell of a day out here anyhow. That big flathead, hell, that makes my week, man. So anyway, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.